Like, yeah, if I had unlimited money, I suppose that would be not the top of my list to buy hormone-free food, <laughs> but... Hi everyone, my name is Whitney Milam. Welcome to my channel. Today, as you might have seen from the title, I am doing a Costco haul video. What I'm gonna do is walk you through this large pile of stuff that I just brought home from Costco and maybe talk about why I bought a couple of the things that I did and what I'm planning to use them for, why I find them useful, and some of the better prices that I found. So let's jump right in. I'm excited, this is my first haul video. I've been thinking about doing it for a while. I saw the cart piling up and I just thought, yeah, today's the day we're gonna do it. So my husband and I joined Costco a couple years ago and we were members for about two years and then we decided that we just didn't wanna pay the membership fee and we were finding better deals on the kind of stuff that we were buying at the time. Um, just from like Woodman's. We just decided that we were gonna discontinue our membership and go back to kind of a traditional grocery store. But this year we were looking at prices on some of the things that we're eating more of and we were just thinking, you know, this is gonna make more sense for us. Um, so we decided to sign back up for Costco. And I am very pleased that we did because in my opinion, they have really upped their game on the organics and like there's a lot of gluten-free things or just alternatives like we saw edamame spaghetti and quinoa macaroni, which I think is really great. And when a big like warehouse store like this does it, it makes it so much more affordable for the general public, which I think is really great and really helpful. So let's dig into what I purchased today. So starting with the biggest item in the back, um, I got a giant package of paper towels because we were out and we were resorting to using toilet paper, which is not ideal, not its intended use. We got 10 pounds of onions because we have a lot of things this week that require onions and it's not an item that goes bad quickly, so it's an easy carry forward item for next week. We ran out of black rice, and so instead of buying more black rice, we decided to get the light brown rice. This is actually, oh, I can't even lift it with one hand. Someday, someday I'll be strong enough. Um, so this is a bag of light brown rice, and it is, how many pounds? 12 pounds. 12 pounds of light brown rice. So that will last us for a good while considering that we aren't eating a ton of rice, but I'd still prefer to eat rice than say like a normal wheat pasta. Then of course we stocked up on our almond milk. This is three half gallons. I have stopped drinking regular cow's milk. I know that's like blasphemy in the dairy state or even the dairy state anymore. Am I part of the problem? I think I'm part of the problem. But I have switched to almond milk. I've heard that it has more calcium. Oh, it's on the box. So 50% more calcium than dairy milk. Sorry, dairy farmers. Again, I know I'm part of the problem. I don't drink soy milk because I have PCOS. And so soy has estrogen in it. Just for me, because I do have some kind of non-dairy milk, every week and usually on a daily basis. I just don't wanna be pumping any kind of extra estrogen into my body because my body already produces way too much estrogen and too much testosterone. Fun PCOS fact. Okay, so then let's move on to the greens. Back here I have a pretty large bag of power greens, which is baby shard, um, kale, and spinach. And that is for a salad, a couple salads later on in the week. And here we have a snack for Todd, just some sugar snack peas. Then these like five baby heads of romaine. I love these so much. That's it for greens. We'll jump on to some of the snack stuff that we have. So over here, these Dukes 
smoked shorty sausages are amazing. So there's seven grams of protein, 11 grams of fat, four grams of that is saturated fat. I try to keep my saturated fat low, but that means the rest of it is um, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which are good fats. And then there's only one carb. Talk about low carb, high fat. This is a perfect snack supplement. Um, two of these links is 130 calories. Moral of the story is, these are amazing. You should try them. Oh, I never realized this. This says, after opening, enjoy within three days or refrigerate. I was not doing that, so. So, anyway, moving on. I guess we might as well just do the other proteins while we're at it. So, in front here, we have two dozen organic brown eggs. They're cage-free, certified organic feed, and no hormones or antibiotics. Again, the hormone thing is important to me, and I'm trying to gradually switch over to being hormone-free in all of my meats. It's more expensive. In an ideal world, I would be able to buy just completely organic, grass-fed, cage-free, hormone-free, antibiotic-free, and that's what I'm working towards. So I'm slowly trying to do that, and when the price is something that I can manage, I do it. So I have two examples of that. So we have this um, ground turkey, which is 93% lean, 7% fat, farm to family by Butterball. Um, and it's no antibiotics, no added hormones or steroids, and they have a vegetarian diet. Um, this is four pounds for $13.99. And we decided to get this one because we went with the um, not organic chicken breast. So we got boneless and skinless chicken breast. This is not organic, cage-free, antibiotic-free. It does say no added hormones or steroids, um, but it's not free of antibiotics. But these are two examples of like how we try to bring balance and when we can, we will get those organics, um, but sometimes it's just too different. And then the last thing um, that kind of fits into that protein realm is these chia seeds. and. Recently, I started trying uh, chia pudding, and I know if I say chia, a lot of the people who follow me are gonna be like, like a chia pet? Yeah, like a chia pet. <laughs> um, but basically, chia seeds, when you mix them with some kind of liquid, in this case, it would be almond milk, and you leave them in the fridge overnight, they soak up that moisture, and they get this like gelatinous consistency around the surface. And so they stick together. It's really weird looking. First time I had it, I was like, what is this texture? But as soon as I got like the flavor right on it, so I add a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness and then cinnamon and I've added like cocoa powder and I've been having it with frozen berries and what I wanted to do this week is have it with fresh strawberries but chia pudding is really good and we found these organic chia seeds and it was two pounds for 750 or something like that and because I'm only having a half serving of this chia pudding in the morning it's gonna stretch this even further so I'm really excited about this find. I wasn't sure if they were gonna have any in store and they did have something online that was like two of these two pound bags for $30 and I, no, no. I very strongly recommend trying chia pudding. Um, if you want my recipe for it, um, just leave a comment down below. For three tablespoons of chia, it is 150 calories nine grams of fat, only one of that is saturated fat, 13 grams of carbs, but 11 of those are fiber. That is a lot of fiber for three tablespoons. <laughs> and so it's only two net carbs if you do it that way. So like total carbs minus fiber is net carbs and five grams of protein. This is like the definition of a superfood. 
and it's something that works so well with a low carb, high fat diet. So again, I highly recommend trying this out. And then last but not least, we have some strawberries and some grapes. Todd likes to have usually green grapes pretty much every day and I am more partial to strawberries. Strawberries are a low glycemic fruit and that basically means they have like a lower sugar content. And so I opt for that. That's one of the few fruits that I add into my diet. So this all supports my meal plan very well. There were a couple other items that we got from Pick and Save just because the price was better or they didn't have small quantities of the things that we were looking at. Like I wanted just like a bar of dark chocolate that I would have one or two squares of every day as part of my snack. I was not finding it at Costco. Also the avocados weren't ripe at Costco. I couldn't even use like the brown paper bag trick on them. They were not going to be ripe in time. All right, that is it for this Costco haul video. If you liked it or if you want to see me do more hauls in the future, give it a thumbs up down below. If you want me to make a recipe video for any of the foods that I talked about, I'd be happy to do so. So leave a comment down below if you're curious and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone, bye.